Hi, Genesis 21, 8 through 13. Abraham, Sarah, and Agar, Ishmael, and Isaac. Mainly, that's what is say that scriptures, those are scriptures. Let me tell you one thing. Counterfeits should never seek in the story. You know, going well, it'll end well. We can see it in that story how then so that counterfeit, which is was Hagar, um, even what was in one accord between them, no, with God between them as a couple. Uh, was no um, got perfect will for their life. It was, it was not supposed to be part of the story. And it's sad because who then paid the price is the children. But thanks God that God got a justice and the baby um, get blessed. Actually, mama get blessed, blessed because of the baby. I, I would believe so because she she didn't do well concerning her behavior and character with her um, um, spiritual mind, if we want to say it in that way, which is what Sarah. Um, one thing in the story, boys, listen your wife, listen God, fear him, he spoke to you already, then follow what God is saying. Women, don't persist in something that is no God perfect will. Wait. Learn to wait. Can you hear it well? Learn to wait. God promises our yes and amen, and His timings are perfect. He knows what He's doing. Yes, doubt can come. Of course, we are human. But guess what? Use your mouth against it. Say, no, God promised me this, 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 and how he say it, and we come to pass. And I choose to believe what he say, it, and I choose to wait in his timing because his timings are perfect. These ideas are not coming from Papa because he already spoke to us and rebuke it. Rebuke it. Don't go through the path. I'm not going to end well. Counterfeits are something very ugly. It can come because of one accord in the couple, but also they can be there without the one accord of the couple. And let me tell you something. It's not end well. It's very ugly. It's very painful. I passed through that. Yes, I was not a believer. Well, I was believing in God, but I was not a follower of his precepts. I, will, I didn't know how to do it. Um, I was just having this little view of Catholicism, which was what my parents gave me. Out of that, the rest, I, I found it by myself when I was adult. I'm here be before you and I'm able to um, share with you a little bit. And it, it didn't end well. And it's sad. I discovered it. Thanks to a uh, beauty parlor where we was going together to the same, not, I believe, it. I'm sorry, at the beginning of the relationship, yes, we was going together to the same beauty parlor. He was cutting his hair with the same lady that I cut in my hair. And um, at the time of the baby, I showed to her, um, to her um, salon to do my hair. And she greeted me as she so I have been seeing the baby already. You say, how is my boy doing? And I said, your boy? No, it's a baby girl. And I said, no, but he bring the baby the other day here and he came around and he chose the baby. It's a baby boy, don't be silly, Carmen. It was in Spanish because it's my country. Anyway, short story was that um, right there at the moment, I said, Carmen, you're playing with me. And I said, no, I'm not playing. And I told hello, it's a baby girl, look. And, and she, Look at the other ladies and cheek was frozen. And I said, I cannot be in silence, something like that, because you already, you know, see that something is happening. Um, 
he came with a baby boy the other day. So who is the mom of that baby boy? They say, it's not mine. And they it was frozen again. And I said, okay, well, it looks like he pregnant the other lady. At that moment, I was polite and I hold myself together. When I went home, I cried like no other lady, I think. I cried. I cried and cried and cried. And I get more angry, more upset. He didn't never wants to be involved in the pregnancy. He didn't get involved even after the baby. And the most sad thing is that he, so you know what? He also wants to put my baby, when he finally wants to do something, you know what he want to do? Put in my baby, the name of the other lady, where he, where whom he was. Can you believe something like that? Yes, it's real. That happened to me. Counterfeits are something very ugly. I was his wife yet. So anyway, I had to say, counterfeits are something very ugly. They destroy. They come to destroy. They are sent by the devil. They come to destroy, as it's written, destroy and steal and more. Please, boys, don't put your seat in the ovary that don't belong to you, that is not yours, that is not what God gave you. Honor God. Honor that lady. Honor yourself. And ladies, learn to forgive. It's your blessing. It's your gift to be healed and to be restored and to be happy and laughed again. God will be with you. He He did it. I was no a believer. I mean, a follower of God, yes, a Christ. And God was with me. He provided me everything that was needed for my baby. And I give. I choose to give her my time. And I said, this is my first gift. I choose to give her my time. And God provide me. God provide me everything that I was in need with my baby. And for my baby. So, with all said, let me tell you something. The sad things also here is that they grew up with, without father. He finally left that lady. They, they, they didn't went, you know, keep on going together. So that baby boy, which is was the other side, grew up without father, his natural father, and my baby grew up without her natural father. Fathers, you are important. You are important. You running, you're supposed to run a, a role that is crucial in the life of the babies. Please hold, hold on yourself together and do not go out and play around stay still with god and that lady that god gave you and you ladies too there's a lot that is involved in all of this baby suffering mama suffering and you probably suffering after you see yourself you know how far you went you know shame and all of that guilt and whatever probably you never feel none of that but i know god is god of justice he will make you feel um, what you're supposed to feel in order to then uh, have your part, even with uh, a partial um, moment, which is being weakened when you have those babies. If you will, that can happen and that can fix a lot. It will not be in fullness, but at least that baby will be seeing a father. And her heart or his heart going to be filled by what's supposed to be filled, which is love and attention and cares. So please, please, don't run after counterfeits. God is God of miracles and wonders, and He's all powerful. He's the one who opens wounds and closes wounds. Wait, wait upon Him. And if you have the ability and you can have babies, then, and boys, hold on together the matrimony covenant ah i don't love her anymore i love love i don't love him anymore that's the life from the pit of hell bow down your knees humble yourself before god ask him for a new portion of love let him heal your heart let him heal your heart 
and let him pour out his new portions of love for yourself and for others. And you will see how miracle stay place in the hearts as well because he's the only one can do so. So I bless you with the real wisdom that you need to go on in life with loyalty, loyalty to God, loyalty to yourself and loyalty to the marriage covenant. I bless you in this hour with the courage to be honest and to be transparent and to talk to the one who can help you and to give you anything that you may ask and need. No matter if you are a boy or if you are a woman, I mean a man and a woman, okay? Ask and you, you will receive good and overflow blessings spiritually and naturally. Have a great, great, great day.